Good afternoon, I'm Jocelyn, I'm an astrologer, and I would like to speak to you today about an extraordinary event in New York City, and it concerns you, and it concerns a lot of people all over America. And I have with me today an extraordinary, fantastic superstar with me, Gregory, Big Gregory. He is the most fantastic, and he will be taking part of this wonderful event. So, Big, I'm going to be working with you there. I'm going to be with you there. It's marvelous. It's fantastic. So maybe you could tell our viewers some little words about what will happen there. I think, you know, most people in the area know about the Whole Life Expo. Uh -huh. um, it takes place this coming um, uh, Columbus holiday weekend right. starting Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And it's, it's, it's probably the most fantastic, the most information-oriented oriented health. Uh, it's almost like a health carnival. It's, it's entertainment. It's, it can be as heavy as you want it, as light as you want it, but it exposes you and the family and friends to health. You know, we in America tend to believe success is when you can afford to wear the finest of garments but somewhere we have to understand that the outside being clean and the inside being dirty, they've never buried a suit because it had cancer. Uh, no one ever was late getting to work because they tie or they blouse had high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And somewhere we have to stop worrying about our cup being clean on the outside. Once we clean that cup up in the inside, the outside will take care of itself. And, and what I like about the whole life expos is that it's a family affair. You can come with 5, 10, 15, or 1, but it have information. You know, we, we, we in a health area now, and it's kind of embarrassing the fact that my mother never told me that sugar was the number three killer on the planet, my government, my school, mm -hmm. my church. And the fact I can go from grade school, high school, to co college, and not be told once that one teaspoonful of bran eaten three times a day would eliminate 80% of everything I'm going to die from. And I, and I really kind of resent the fact when I realize that information is power. It is. And so, you know, what happens here is when you talk about information that's going to save your life, that's going to give you a healthy life and a normal life, you can't ask for no more power than that. And what I enjoy about it is all the misinformation. You know, it's a hell of a thing when your mother give you a candy bar as a reward for making an A on a test, and then to be told that that's the number three killer, that salt's the number two cause of cancer, that your high cancer nations are your high animal protein nations, and yet I was brought up believing that if you couldn't afford to put the steak and the, the meat and the potatoes on the, the table, you had not fulfills your duty as a father. We all were, I think. <laughs> and so now, it's not that, you know, we in America, in the West, need to be educated. We need to be re-educated. That's right. And, 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 and this is what I like. It exposes you to a broad amount of information. I mean, I've been associated with these type of, of information gathering for the last 15 years, and I find myself at the Whole Life Expo buying all the tapes. I mean, and that's the interesting thing, that right after the lectures are over, you can buy the tapes. You can yes. take them home. You can share them with loved ones. You know, it, and, and I think one of the problems that, that, that we parents and older folks have missed is <clears throat> we keep yelling down at these youngsters about reefers, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, about dope, about drugs, instead of from a love. And that's because we tend not to know enough about it. Uh, if, 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 if most of the young folks that started smoking reefers know that it will erase your memory bank, if most of the folks that snorting cocaine is aware of the effect it has on that very important nerve, fight or flight nerve, uh, uh, many people would think twice. If, if people who drink alcohol know what effect it has, we call it, you know, drink now, or eat now, and pay later. And, and, <laughs> and, and, right. and so what I like about it, you have the information there. And I've always said for folks that go into health food stores and just buy the, uh, the sesame seeds and the sunflower seeds and do not buy the books, uh, they're doing their self and their loved ones a disservice because there's so much information out here. And, and what I, I just love, I bring my children mm -hmm. on the weekends uh, to Whole Life Expo and they get on a plane and come from Boston. Matter of fact, last year they worked, we had a booth there, they, they worked the booth. But I just can't say enough about it. And to those of you that's out there, uh, that believe what you're eating is right. Uh, just come and expose yourself to the information. And again, uh, I say it's over the, 
uh, Columbus holiday weekend, which would be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And it's at the Roosevelt Hotel at, at 45th and Madison. And ju just try it. You see, the interesting thing about, about getting into health, you see, I wish I could stand here and tell you that, and, and I say wish for a reason, that cancer is a disease, that high blood pressure is a disease, that heart trouble is a disease. Those are conditions. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and conditions is brought on by your lifestyle. And conditions can be changed by your lifestyle. You know, you hear people say, oh, uh, sugar diabetes runs in my family. Uh, cancer runs in my family. Heart condition, that's because you eat what your mother ate. Uh, she mm -hmm. ate what her mother ate. So his true. father eats what his father ate. And the diet runs in the family. And whatever negative characteristics the diet brings, you will bring that down from generation to generation. It's when you change the diet, sugar diabetes do not run in the family no more. And again, I say, you know, that, that what I appreciate about Whole Life Expo and the people who's willing to put the money, uh, people who's willing to spend their time and, and efforts, uh, you have lectures from water, yeah. from physical fitness, from drugs, from the way you grow your own food, for, you know, what do you do with chemicals on the food, you know, it's just, it's just incredible. It's marvelous. They even have machines for pain. They, they have, have information what, what? with your eyes, with the, for your ears, arthritis, rheumatitis. And you know what is fantastic about Dick is that he, I know him personally, and he is a, an example of whatever you say, this is what you, your whole life is about. I mean, you just eat fruits and vegetables. You, you really are a perfect example. You went through it. You went through all this I incredible through, process. I went through the whole process of four packs of cigarettes a day, a fifth of scotch every day. I You've weighed, done it all, absolutely. I weighed 300 <laughs> pounds. I went the whole, the whole bit, you know. So you know what you're talking about. And then I'm shocked because, you know, I, I grew up in a house where, you know, they said no alcohol. Uh, well, drugs weren't even thought about. You know, only people that gave you drugs was doctors, and, and, and that was for pain or something, mm -hmm. which still have the same effect. There's no difference in a, a drug I get from a, a doctor than I get from a junkie on the corner. Mm -hmm. Now, it might kill the pain, but it had the same negative effect exactly. in my body. Yeah. But, you know, you know I, I, when you wake up one day and realize that the number one and number two drug addictions uh, in this country, the number one drug addiction is caffeine and the number two drug addiction is nicotine mm -hmm. and yet we have elderly folks and parents uh, that don't understand youngsters smoking reefers uh, but they couldn't survive if you hid their coffee for a week you know sort of like everybody likes their thing but nobody else's you know the the whiskey drinker never liked the wine oh and the reefer smoker think they hipper than the the the, the reefer uh, the whiskey drinker and the cocaine snorter uh, I the think they cool it in all of them, <laughs> and coffee drinkers hate them all. That's right. And yet there's more stomach cancer caused in America every day from drinking coffee than lung cancer mm -hmm. from smoking cigarettes. And yet we have a government uh, that will not tell us this. Uh, when you get the Ralph Naders and the beautiful people uh, that's the consumer. You see, I resent the fact that a Ralph Nader, not my government, told me that new cars could kill you because I came up really believing that I lived in a country that I had certain protections by the government and that if I could just get my family and loved ones out this old raggedy car and put them in a new car, I would be safe. And then a Ralph Nader, uh, who's not part of the government, who on his own and their own have to tell me that new cars can be dangerous, and then they'll force this government to take red dye number two out the food, and they'll substitute with red dye number four. Now, anybody got any sense at all, no four <coughs> is worse than two. <laughs> you, know? you know what you're saying is absolutely right, and you have that uh, opposite opinion. I know that they're all doing the best they can, probably, and the doctors are doing the best they can, probably, but there's some things that, uh, that are not being helped and there's millions of people suffering down there and you are talking about this we talk about this all the time and there's no reason why su suffering should go on because of ignorance or malinformation or manipulation of any of any kind and i believe that the whole life expo does provide an alternative to healing process and the people will come down there don't you agree they will have information on things they could do on themselves absolutely fantastic you don't have to spend fortunes on, and and if you had on some problem, health problem that you are suffering and you don't have any solution and, and medicine said that they can't do anything, they don't know what's causing it. I assure you most of the time you could heal this just by changing some of your food habits. Isn't sure, that true? That You've done it and it, it, you're a perfect example of this. Changing food habits and information. For instance, yes. you know, you hear people talk about lower back problems and, 
And one of the big problems with lower back problems is old age, is mm -hmm. the way we walk. The biggest problem with lower back problem is lack of drinking water. That's your liver and kidneys exactly. screaming out. Mm -hmm. Now, what am I saying? I'm saying if you sit out there and you don't believe it and your back is brown, why don't you try drinking 12 to 16 glasses of water for three days? And if it stops, you're in good shape. If it mm -hmm. don't stop, you haven't put nothing in you but some water. That's right. And that's the interesting thing that what I like about health and the reason, you know, I really got into it, I'm not dealing with chemicals. I'm not dealing with, with, with additives. I'm not dealing with, mm. with something that's going to stimulate me. So even if it didn't work, at the end of the day, I haven't put nothing in my body that was toxin. Exactly. And I think when, when, when we understand that, you know, anything that was live and breathed and had blood in it, once you kill it, uh, once it dies, it starts decomposing. Exactly. Decomposition is nothing more but mucus or pus. Exactly. So when you go into the restaurant <clears throat> and sit down and the waitress or the waiter walk up very eloquent and say, can I help you? Don't ask for corned beef on rye. Just ask for pus on white bread. <laughs> and I bet they'll get it to you in a hurry and it probably costs half as much. <laughs> we're, we're laughing, but it's not. It's really a tragedy. Absolutely. And that's why so many individuals right now all over the planet which they will be gathering in this whole life expo to inform people about reality about their bodies you know how is this machine function number you know they have great speakers we yes. have speakers from all walks of life i mean dealing with all kinds of subjects and one thing that you will learn is how your machine works and how certain personalities like dick for example have made it they have learned it they have done it the right way they've done it in the way before and they had suffering and resolved you had overweight problem oh, and yeah. many people do i mean who doesn't have a weight problem today or the other way around because it's the same problem that causes it and there is solution available and Whole Life Expo does provide all these answers for you and all of you, you should come down and see us and Dick will be happy to shake your hand because he loves all of you and so do I and we'll have like information on astrology, on palmistry, we'll have speakers on different kind of uh, alternatives in health and you will have, you'll be amazed what you could learn, it will be ma the best investment you have ever done in your life, it's absolutely fantastic, would you say that? Yes and not only that, you will, you will taste meat that tastes more like meat than meat that's right. not meat. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, absolutely. You will taste ice cream that has no dairy products in it and have no sugar in it. Uh, the interesting thing is you find alternatives yes, to, to yes. a lot of the habits and things that we that we hooked on. We don't, we, it's like we're not changing people's life. On the contrary, we're trying to share our experience because we believe that health is something you can't go without i'm sorry you just can't afford to lose this and health is something that you could make remain young and beautiful and fantastic forever because i believe that old age is a disease you're not supposed to get old no i don't i don't believe you're, you're supposed, supposed to, get to stay either. young forever and live as long as possible and being really doing many many things until the rest of your life i mean and the way it's going on right now it's tragic and we do have something to do about it and this comes from the individual part okay this is why dick and i and many other Hundreds of people have been making research on their own. They came to some incre incredible, wonderful conclusions with specific solutions. And we were so happy that you could come and see us. And we will be sharing all this information with you and give you all energy in the same time. Right? That's right. So again, I'm going to tell you that it's at the Roosevelt Hotel yes. at 45th and Madison. And it's over the Columbus holiday weekend. And for those of you who don't know who Columbus is, he's the one they claim discovered America, Christopher. But that boy got lost. <laughs> and, and somewhere I want to ask, how can you discover a country that's already occupied? You know, I mean, where was the engines when he got here? Because that's serious business. If you can discover a country that's already occupied, then I can go out in the parking lot and discover your car with you in it. And, and so it's going to be October the 11th, 12th, 13th, right. 14th right. Exactly. of October. So We're forget really about Columbus. Right. <laughs> just, just Think like about us. Be there. <laughs> so be there because we're going to be there waiting for you with this great, marvelous, superhuman being. Uh, and we really care about you. So come and see you. Love you and kiss you. And come and see us there. We will be happy to take care of you and give you all the information about you for a change. Right? That's Bye. Right. See Bye -bye. you.